Kissing. Oh no, it's hard. <laughs> Peyton, Pepe, Petoskey, Sugarbutt, I know you know. All the random names that I've come up with over the years. Uh, to start in Proverbs, it says, He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. And true words have never been spoken. I've been truly blessed by everything about you. Whether it is your kindness that knows no bounds, your faith, which is ever growing and challenging me to be a godly leader, your generosity that will continue to push our home to serve our home to serve God's kingdom, your caring nature that will always put others first and strives to serve. Your humor, which always makes life so much fun. And last but certainly not least, your capacity for love. You take the time to let others know the way that Christ loved you first. So it makes everyone who meets you drawn to you. I'd be ris remiss if I didn't mention how well you've loved me since the beginning of our relationship. And it means so much to me. I promise to love you in the good times and bad. I promise to be a godly leader. I promise to put you first. I promise to pray for guidance and for our future continuously. My prayer is that throughout our marriage we will remember the verse in Ecclesiastes. The one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not easily broken. I pray we will keep God at the center of our marriage, and neither one of us is perfect, and we will grow through seasons of feast and famine. But with God at the center, we will get through it all. I love you, Peyton, more than you will ever know. You're my best friend, and I promise to love you for the rest of my life, and to always be your goofball. <laughs> So I bought this when we were in Alaska. Oh in yeah. Homer, and it says you're the luckiest guy in the world. I would love to be married to me. <laughs> and then on the that's inside it says that's all, but that's obviously not all. <laughs> <laughs> ben, I knew there was something special about you before we had even met because you somehow managed to win over John Seraphine in the span of two days. I have found a man who makes me laugh. I have found a man who makes the small things like going to the grocery, driving in the car, and singing in the most absurd voices, or cooking dinner. I have found a man who pushes me spiritually, whether it be putting others before myself or getting involved with the church children's ministry. I have found someone who makes sure I see the prettiest sunrises, even if it's too early. So he sends me a picture because he knows how much I love them. I have found someone who lotions my feet, even though it's dry as the Sahara Desert. I have found someone who held me and comforted me and encouraged me as I bawled my eyes out. I have found someone that makes me feel like the most beautiful girl in the world. As your wife. <laughs> As your wife, I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to support you in the best ways I know how. I promise to always encourage you no matter how hard you are on yourself. 
I promise to push you spiritually. I promise to always be your best friend. Oh, and I can't forget that I also promise to make you biscuits and do this gravy. <laughs> we both know how horrible I am at writing letters, but I hope this catches a glimpse of how lucky I feel that I get to be the one that loves you and get and gets to be loved by you for the rest of our lives. Mm, babe. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. That was so sweet. Mm -hmm. You don't have to make yours funnier than mine. <laughs> Even when we fall, I will be the rock that holds you up and lifts you high so you stand tall. I won't let you go. No one can take your place. Fights and lonely nights Don't make it right to let it go to waste May the Lord provide to you all the love and happiness the world has to offer And above all else, give you His great peace It is with great pleasure I now pronounce you husband and wife Ben, you may kiss your bride Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I introduce to you Mr. and Mistress Ben Billiker.